I'm free! Only to go upstairs and talk to the old man's brother. Is... is that you, Link? Well, it looks as though you're safe. That's good to know. Your grandmother has been having a terrible time of it ever since you left. She rarely leaves the house, and as far as I can tell, she just spends her days sleeping. She hardly eats. I've actually come to here to see if my old man, my old grandpa, knows any medicine or anything that might make her feel better. Ooh. Oh, Link, you've come back, and in one piece too. Gracious! My granddaughter tells me that your grandmother is in poor health these days. Now, I'm certain that a little fairy dust would provide all the lift all the lift her spirits needs, but well the problem is I haven't seen any fairies in these parts recently. Of course, long ago you could find a lot of them up at the old fairy fountain, and you could even capture them in empty bottles. Sure, it was as easy as you please. Yes, there was a time where I used to like playing with fairies, uh ahem. In any case, ever since that fountain was blocked up by that huge rock, I haven't seen a one. So that's your indication that you need a fairy for grandma. Um, as a kid, I just gave her a fairy randomly and just found out, oh, hey, grandma's better now. It's Pigzilla. Look at the little oinker. He got big. Guess what happens when you hit him? Three times. Run. He does three hearts. Yeah. Don't mess with Piggy. He ate the other pigs in order to gain their strength. Oh, Link, you made it back. Nasty things have been happening here at the night ever since you left that on that boat. You'd better head home today, and don't come out to play until long after the sun is risen tomorrow. I'm so glad you're safe, Link. We've all been so worried. The boys will be so surprised to hear you just returned, just as soon as they wake up, that is. Alright. No? Do I not have to? Is it not regular villagers? I guess it's only certain villagers that give you trophies. See, I've never actually gotten all the trophies except, I think, one time a long time ago. Like, back when the game first came out. Well, 2004, technically. So I think that's... Was it 2004 or 2000? No, I got my PS2 2005. I think I got my GameCube 2003 or 2004. Let me see if you have a statue. You do. Do you? You do. Grandma, what ails you? Oh, un... Link, Ariel, don't go. Don't leave. Uh, don't leave your poor gr old grandma. All alone. Don't worry, Grandma. Wait. There we go. Now it's working. Boop. Now make sure you're targeted on Grandma for this. Oh, Link! Is that you, Link? Grandma is always happy to see your bright, shining face. Link, my dear sweet Link. You're safe. That's wonderful. Just wonderful. 
Did you do this? Did you heal me? Oh, you're such a sweet child. Oh, that's right. You and your sister Ariel have been trying so hard and strong, and I've just been sitting here moaning and worrying. I'm your grandmother. I'm the one who should be taking care of you. I'm so sorry, Link. I haven't even considered what you must be going through. I'm a terrible grandma. Link, is this all you have? This is all I have to give you right now, but you can keep it in your empty bottle. We got the elixir soup. This healthy soup all your grandmother makes replenishes all power, life, and magic power. Your attack power also doubles until the first time you take damage. Now that's one hearty soup. And your kind old grandmother's filled the bottle so full that there's two helpings inside. Isn't she the sweetest? You and your sister love this soup, don't you? If you run out, I can make it for you anytime you like. Grandma is going to be strong, so you've got to be strong too. But don't do anything reckless, alright? Thank you, Grandma. For that, you get a picture! No. Good. Grandma gets a picture. So you actually can go throughout the game without healing grandma like a jerk. But then you'd miss out on literally the best healing item in the game. The hearty soup is stupidly overpowered. And the fact that you get two helpings... There's a reason why they had to nerf it in Twilight Princess to the Golden Chew Jelly. Because the Golden Chew Jelly and the uh, Fairy's Tears do the same thing. But, uh, they aren't for when the first time you take a hit. They're just for a limited time. Because if you can do it without getting hit, then you are very good. But there's a reason why. So, let's talk to you. Are you ready? In that case, we must search for the cave around, side, around the backside of Outset where Jaboon is hi said to hide. Alright. I better... Yeah. I have to use the... There we go. I don't know why my thing's doing that lately. All right. For sale. And if you come around the back. Fire! Alright, that's one piece. Two piece. I don't know what happens if you fall into the whirlpool. Three piece. So inside we go. I don't know why it's playing that sound effect every time we go in and out of a loading zone. Notice the Jabu Jabu's belly um, music. Well met indeed, Jaboon. I am pleased to see that you are safe. <laughs> Yes, it seems Ganon has returned. There can be no other explanation. Unfortunately, that is not so. The 
The one I have brought with me has no connection to the legendary one. And yet, I sense great promise in the courage that this one possesses. I do. It is the only way. And there it is. The third pearl. You got Nehru's Pearl. The water spirit Jaboon was kind enough to give you this jewel, a treasure of one of the goddesses. Link's floating. So, that foul and rain and endless night were indeed elements of the curse brought upon by Ganon. He must intend to cast this land into pure darkness for all time. I believe I have. Goodbye, Jabun. Thank you for the Jabu Jabu's belly uh, remix. Again, play that sound. Ganon's curse has been broken by the power of the pearl that Jabun has given us, so morning should come soon. It is well that we have gathered all of the pearls. Are you ready, Link? I have marked the places where you must set the pearls on your sea chart. Once you have placed each of the pearls in the proper locations, the proving grounds for your courage will become apparent. Clearly, the search for Jaboon has shown that Ganon has begun to make his make efforts to block our path forward. It is certain that the perils ahead will be even greater than those you have faced thus far. You should finish any business you have here on outset right now, so that you shall ha not have any regrets later. Well, I have no regrets now. And if we look... That's right. All right, there we go. If we look on the map... We got to go to Southern Triangle Isle, Eastern Triangle Isle, and Northern Triangle Isle. But, what we're going to do first... I know, I'm, I'm already doing stuff. Uh, if you talk to Hoi Small Fry here, he does say something interesting. Uh, because we've already got the chart filled out for right here, so... Hoi, small fray! Yeah, yeah, I've heard you want informa chart and information about this island. Start by opening up your sea chart. I guess it plays the cutscene again. I didn't know that. I heard that there's a big head boulder on the top of that hill on outset. It's where the greatest treasure of all, the Golden Triumph Forks, are buried. But actually, Fry, I must have misheard or something. Because the only, this one guy told me that there was actually buried beneath this weird rock was some shard of something called a Triforce. Who ever heard of that? That's crazy. There's a big difference between Triumph Forks and Triforce. I mean, I am I think someone intentionally buried something misleading there. So if you couldn't put it together, the Triumph Forks are the Triforce. So, yeah. Um, Where should we go? Well, first things first, we're going to fill out the map on this uh, part of the quadrants. Because we don't have that much more of the map left. And it's better to do it now than later. Plus, now that it's going to be daytime for once, we can do crap. And I could actually see Hoi Sm Oh no. Alright. Hold on. Hmm. 
Okay. Time for a hoi, small fry! Hoi, small fry! Yeah, yeah, I've heard information. Start by opening your sea chart. Five refile. Long ago, there was this huge fairy who lived south of here in the forest on Outset Island. But now all that's left are the ruins of the fairy fountain where she lived. Sort of sad. But to tell you the truth, I hear there still is a fairy there. Yep, she's still alive and kicking down there, Fry. And that's all the info I've got to offer. Already did all that. All right, so we are gonna go over this way. Hopefully not encounter a shocky shock. So we got three islands down here to chart. Starting with uh, this one. And we'll go to the one that's to the west of Outset. All right, there he is. Hoi, small fray! Welcome to Diamond Step Island. Oh, I've got some great information, Small Fry. Lucky you. See, there's a treasure that's hidden on that island there, and the thing that vanishes as soon as you get near it, it won't vanish anymore. You know it. I'm talking about it. That thing that appears on nights where the where a wee bit of the right half of the moon is missing. Don't you know what I'm talking about? It. Uh, that is something for later in the game. So having Diamond Step Isle is a good thing. Oh, your map, because for some odd reason, I always think that it's on the other side of the world. And set sail. We should also ah sea hats. Nero don't like sea hats. Oh, it's raining again. Oh, what? It's right there, buddy. It's right there. Come on. That's actually the first time that's happened where he's not taking the bait right away. Hoi, small fray. Welcome to Horseshoe Island. We could actually do this island right now. On the island due east of here lives an old man who was once a master swordsman. He's got proof of it, too. He has a knight's crest. Want to know what that thing is, Fry? Well, too bad. I can't go away given every secret. Well, I mean, I do know Master Orca has his thing. Is that a sea hat or is that a tower? That's a sea hat. Ooh, my buddies. Sea hat. Oh, come on. That completely missed me. My buddies. Yeah, yeah bub. You collecting treasure too, bub? See where it is? It's your treasure charts. Secret to hauling is grappling click on your boat. First time treasure. It's not that hard, really. Okay, you don't say anything new. So that's how it works. Okay, bye bye. All right, let's go to Horseshoe Island.
Now this island, we's gonna play some golf. Because if you get close, as you can see, there's things. There's thorns of doom and sadness. So how do you do that? Well, pick this up, throw. Okay, I might be able to aim it. Get that in, that lowers. And it's as simple as that. Play golf. I think you can technically throw some of them in. No! Now I'm gonna get a bogey! Drop. Great, now I gotta wait. No! My perfect golfing record! Oh, thank God it landed in. I did not think it was going to land in. And that's what's on this island. It's a blue cube. Okay, that's not the only thing that's on this island. But it's one of the main things. All right, now this last one, you got to line up perfectly. Goodbye. Yay! Birdie! Because there's also this that's on the island. This should be, I believe, a treasure card that leads to a piece of heart. Now you've talked to this guy. Ho-ho, oh, so beautiful, incredibly beautiful. I'm so glad I bought this kaleidoscope. Forget, can I take a picture of you? Do you have a statue? You probably do have a statue, actually. Right This should be a treasure chart, I believe. Whoop. All right, I'm back. I forgot my phone was actually not on mute for once. Sorry about that, but we got a treasure chart. And whoop. I didn't mean to take out the boomerang. Oh, it's dark and stormy night again. But what I want to do... Is Linky go down the hole? <laughs> He's gonna knock the wings off of it.
I forgot they regrow their wings. Alright, this is my only chance. I will have a chubba with me. No! <laughs> oh man, I wanted to be on the chest. Oh, the chubba's in the cutscene, that's cool. He's also clipping into me. And we got another treasure chart. Man! So heavy. So many chubba. You get left behind. These are all my friends now. I'm taking them with me. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to check out more Legend of Zelda action, check out the top link for a playthrough of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess done on the Nintendo GameCube. And for even more Zelda action, check out the bottom link for a playthrough of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D on the 3DS.